So hey, Harmonica Geeks, Roscoe here. Um, lately on uh, one or two of the uh, Harmonica Facebook pages, there's been some talk about using the Strymon Lex and some other effects uh, to simulate an organ sound um, using the Harmonica. And so uh, I've been doing that for quite a while. Um, so I made a demo. Um, I'm no expert on organ for sure. And I'm not even pr really an expert on uh, harmonica, but I have been playing for a while. I probably first started using uh, harp as an organ sound 25 or 30 years ago with just probably a, a boss chorus pedal. Um, I know uh, tremolo harps have been around for probably 100 years and they kind of have that sort of sound where you can make a, a pad uh, if you don't know what a pad is, it's kind of a sound that sits in the background, um, kind of f fills up the background of a song, usually without being too busy. And that's one of the best uses of harmonica as an organ. But you have to understand that you're never going to make a harmonica sound like a B3 organ. B3 organ is a very particular, um, incredible, amazing machine not just an organ played through a, a Leslie speaker. It's a, it's a very quirky uh, um, piece of machinery that has motors and tone wheels and draw bars and, and uh, Leslie speaker. If you've hooked it up through that, it has an amplifier in it that can be overdriven. Um, so there's a lot that, that you're never gonna be able to do on a harmonica uh, to simulate a, a B3 through a Leslie. You're just not gonna be able to do it. Um, not to mention chord voicings. So the best thing I think that you can do with the, with the organ simulation is to play pads. So if you don't know what a pad is, I'm not sure if I've explained it well, maybe ask an organ player or somebody who knows more about music than I do. And there's a lot of those people. One of the things uh, that you should keep in mind for sure um, when you're playing, if you're trying to play organ pads uh, in the background of a song, is to stay out of the way of other instruments. Um, I know a lot of B3 players, uh, if they're playing with the full band, and keyboard players in general, if there's a bass player and a guitar player or two guitar players, they're not gonna use their left hand too much. The left hand, they pretty much should, uh, should, yeah, I think they should tie it behind their back. Uh, there's a lot of other sonic space down there, so that's something to keep in mind if you're also trying to simulate uh, a B3 sound. Um, a couple other things with the Strymon that you'll see. Um, one of the nice things about uh, my setup is that I have an expression pedal hooked up. Um, one of the unique aspects of, of an organ sound is that uh, through a Leslie is that they can control the speed. Um, with the expression pedal you can control the speed of the rotating speaker sound which is kind of what makes it a Leslie. Um, and one of the, uh, one of the organ players that I've worked with a bit told me something uh, interesting to think about. I asked him, when do you know how to use the speed control? And he said, one of the things that um, he thinks about is to use the speed control like vibrato at the end of a vocal line if you sing. You know, how a uh, vocalist will put a tail with vibrato uh, at the end of a line. That's one way to uh, use the speed control. Um, it can add excitement to a line. Um, there's a whole lot that goes into thinking like an organ player um, that you're just going to have to listen to organ players to kind of hear what they do. But um, to sum it up, I really like my setup, which is a uh, basically a POG through a Strymon Lex. The POG is the polyactive generator, maybe something like that. I run it through a Strymon Lex. Um, I use the expression pedal for a speed control and I try to think like a one-handed, um, not very good organ player. And if you don't have a keyboard or an organ player, you can add a lot to music. There's chords, there's partial chords, and there's just uh, laying on one line, one note as a pad that works really well. Um, 
if you don't get too busy with it. Um, once again, there's lots of people probably who do this better than I do. Um, uh, but I made a demo of, of the way that I use it, short demo. You can watch it or you can um, tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about, which is probably true. Anyway, hope to see uh, everybody out there eventually at a spa convention. Um, I never thought I would say this, but I'm aching to see you all at a spa convention. Um, so maybe 2022. Cheers.